Rio de Janeiro, cidade maravilhosa, praia de Ipanema. O que está acontecendo ali? O que, que é isso? É um arrastão? O que, que é isso? Pessoas gritando. Aquele pontinho rosa ali, eu tô reconhecendo. Jared Leto veio pro Brasil fazer show no Rock in Rio, aproveitou pra fazer uma sessão de entrevista sobre Blade Runner 2049, o um novo filme dele, junto com Ryan Gosling e Harrison Ford, a sequência do icônico Blade Runner. But I can only make so many. I had the luck, and he has the key. I think I found him. That's not possible. If this gets out, we've bought ourselves a war. Ele tá ali agora, ó, no meio do povo, dando caminhada pela praia, vai se despedir do Rio de Janeiro, mas. Antes disso tudo acontecer, a gente bateu um papo. Ele tava lá pleno, comendo seu açaí. Açaí, my friends, açaí. Cara, na boa, esse moleque vai acabar roxo de tanto açaí, hein? Quase que eu pedi uma colherada. Nossa, vamos dividir esse material de açaí. Então dá só uma olhada no papo que eu bati com Jared Leto. Jared? Yes, sir. Welcome to Brazil again. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take one bite. Oh, you should have the whole The bowl. infamous. No. I don't judge anybody who's eating acai. It's the mm. best thing ever. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so good. I want acai too. I don't have. Mm. I don't have oh my god. Oh. I can't eat too much though. Wow. I have like three or four bites. That's it. No, when you're in Brazil, you just have to go with acai. That's the way to I go. I mean, but it's just it's 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 too much for me. I can't take it. It's, it's addictive. It's, yes. So I have to stop myself. Yeah. I had three bites already. I feel like I'm. Um, Like pool. I'm just like a bull, you know. Yeah, it's like a lot of energy. Yeah. From yeah. Let me ask you. I mean, you've been in your career. You always pick like so good parts. I want to know how did this character appeal to you that it was like I want to do this because you've been doing so much good stuff. Well, thank you. And why did you decide to go on this journey? I was a huge fan of the original film. Huge fan. I watched it a hundred times. One of my favorite movies of all time. So when they called me about it, I was like, uh, absolutely. Uh, send me the script. I read the script and I just couldn't believe the writing was so good. The character was so compelling. Um, the group of actors, some of the best in the world. Uh, and Denis, the director, incredible. So it was a no brainer for me. We hear a lot of stories about how you prepared to get in your character. Did you do something like new and incredible for this one? Did you like did a preparation? Well, most stories are total bullshit. Really? Yeah. What about this one? Do I... All I do is I, I, I work as hard as I can so that I do the best job for everybody involved because I want to contribute and um, to not let anyone down. That's oh, what you're I, not letting anyone know. That's what I do. I mean, I just work really as hard as I can, like a lot of people do, you know. Um, I stay as focused and committed. Uh, and, you know, this was really fun because I had most of my scenes were with Harrison. Yeah, the, the, that's, that's a, a huge deal. You know, I, mean, I mean, Blade Runner is like Harrison. And then, how, did you get emotional sometimes? Because it's a huge brand. And yeah, it was very emotional. It's like a legend. And yeah, his voice, when it's that close to you, or you reach out, I go to grab his hand in one scene, and it was like, you know, it's wild. I, I, I guess, you know, when you grow up with someone too, and their work makes such a big impact on you, and especially this film in particular, and his character, you know, it becomes a part of you. Uh, it teaches you things, it shows you things, it provokes things in you. Um, and this film taught me about filmmaking, about acting, about costume, about music, about a lot. So it was very emotional. It was very emotional in the yeah, sense, I, I, the I, whole I, thing. And, and the film is very emotional. It's very, it's a sexy uh, world too, Blade Runner. Well, yeah. Jared Leto is sexy. Well, not me, but <laughs> but, but the, the world is, is incredible. It, and I always liked that about the first film. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't speaking to kids. Mm -hmm. It was speaking, it was elevated, you know. And I mean, the, your new song is a little 
talk about our existence just yeah. like the movie. Mm -hmm. So does it relate it somehow, like the, it making the movie inspired you to do the song? Because I feel like a little connection. Well, I don't not, know about the album, but the not song. directly. But you know, I did this movie before I wrote the lyrics to that song. So I think that all your work in life impacts and affects your other work. If you're walking down the street, if you're Alessandro from Gucci and you're walking down the street and you see some modern future somewhere in a sticker or you, you're in a church, you see an, something or an embroidery, you know, it ends up in, in your work. The mm -hmm. same thing with uh, music or acting, you, 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 you have experiences and, and they inform other ones. Thank you so much for being such an inspiring person. My absolute pleasure, thank you. And thank you for being Brazil. I'm still hangover from me. Oh my God, I can barely talk right now. I was figuring out how he, he was actually doing this much of winter of that concert. It's so. the acai. It's the acai. It saved my life. Oh, I but then what a fun crowd and the show. The, I mean, the people were amazing last night. So, yeah. you know, thank you to everybody in Brazil. We and it was you. really, really good. Should we get a picture? Yes, please. Então, esse foi meu papo com o Jared Leto, aproveitando que ele me deixou com vontade. Pedi aqui no Fazano o açaí do Jared Leto. Maravilhoso, né? Ó, oh, quando eu como aqui meu açaí, você dá like nesse vídeo, comenta, compartilha, ativa o sininho. Jared continua ali, andando, caminhando pleno. Até a hora que você terminou de ver esse vídeo, ele já chegou lá na Barra da Tijuca. Me encontra lá em casa depois. Bom, esse foi meu papo com o Jared Leto, Blade Runner 2049. Estarei dia 6 de outubro no cinema. Não percam, não deixem de assistir, porque acho que vai ser o começo de uma franquia aí que vai durar muito tempo, hein? A volta de Blade Runner. They know you're here. You do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. Bring it to me. This breaks the world. We have to go. I'm coming with you. The future of the species is finally unearthed.